How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them will get you... 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Tell over there we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> all right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment. With Mr. Braithwaite, I believe? Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Let's go get these horses. Whoa. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I agree, Arthur. Let's play this smart. Let's get in. Let's get out. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right. Let's hitch up here. Let's drop off our horse. Did good, girl. Let me do the talking. Yeah, we got this. Y'all ready? Yo, what's up, man? Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficial. All right, let's lead this beautiful horse out of here. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What the hell? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. This horse ran away, so I had to go chase it down. Let's bring it back to the crew. And we can try to get this money for these horses. Hey Morgan! Over here! Hey, there we go. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's get this over with. Look at that beautiful sunset. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> That's a fact. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? 
Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John. Arthur. Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Hey. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. There it is. Yep, that's the word is down. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Throw him a little change. Ain't you kind, sir? A little tip. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way. Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. <laughs> River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Yeah. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Let's go. Let's roll out with our homie Josiah. Right, let's find this train. Got a nice little tip from that guy. Okay, let's go this way. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright.
This sounds like a fun little mission. I like this so far. Here we are. This is the spot. All right. safe than sorry yes what were you sir thinking? well according to this the loot is located in a strong box which is in the back i'll put on a little performance and you can scurry around open the strong box and relieve them of their goodies and how do i open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me this should work <laughs> and i can do this silently well i'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary but you're going to wish you had your earplugs this is damson Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. <laughs> of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Old nice. Tight. They'll be here soon. Let's wait for the coach. There it is. Right on time. Ooh, Let's go. That was Keep quick. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Fine. I don't want to, but uh, I'll do my best. ahead and get the coach to stop you hang back don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing yeah la, 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 la. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? It's a small benefit to the Lopalops in Blackwater. Did you say Mrs. Chester Damson? I flatter me. I Stop the coach, my good man! fools who believe westerners don't know anything about culture i couldn't agree more would could, could you it's it's such a small show but would you sing something for me I, i'm looking for a mezzo soprano uh, I, 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 I don't know miss damson you owe it to west elizabeth Wow. Let's get this money and get out of here quickly. Um, um, okay. Took a little longer to get off the horse than I wanted. Okay, let's get back on the horse and go. I'm gonna call the horse over here. I don't want them detecting me. Let's go. I think we're good. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Decided not to shoot anyone this time. Just wanted to have. Nice little smooth mission. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Hey. 
Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. See what's going on over here. This place looks nice. Thank you, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> nope. You cannot drive, bro. Let's go take care of this. Let's go. All right, let's get this over with. Wonder what we're up to. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. <laughs> I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat Whoa. and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Damn, bro. Okay. It's a little extra. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? what? Yeah. Whoa, jinx. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Oh, yeah. I've been thinking this hell about oi toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, this dude. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But there really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them Gray's English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? What? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey! Hold him right there!
What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Nice. Let's go, guys. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get out of the bag of here. here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. All right. This should be fun. How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down a of houses. Well, burn quietly. Boy, there's someone coming on the left. Okay, okay. This is going to be fun. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Wonder if we can go get that. This is bloody nice. Whoa! There goes out right out here. Oh, the horse is left. Come on now. Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna be too easy. Lay it down. They seem to be take. We need to get out of here. This is a goddamn mess. It's always a mess, man. Ooh. Whoa. Let's go. All right. Where are these dudes? We got to get out of here. trying, Sean. They didn't. There they are. 
They didn't tell me nothing. I need you two to lay down and get out my way. This way. Let's go. Whoops. Go to hell. This place is getting I messed up. We torched the heck out of this. Jose, better get us paid real well for this. For real. There's a lot of work we did. Hopefully we get out of here safe. Let's go get this money. You'll be sorry. See, there it ah. is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash Ooh, yet. the payroll. This is what it's all about. Oh, Arthur. Glad you're having fun. Nice. All right, come on. We'll take those horses. We got to ride out and we got some money. Yeah, see if the payroll is actually in there. Hurry That'd be up. nice. Oh, boy. We did good, Morgan. We did good. Nice. Great, but well, let's go. Look here, you get them horses free, Martha. Come on. I'm working on it, bro. You get the other one, I got this one. Nice. Okay, let's get the hell out Roll of here. Roll out. Fast. Two right, follow me. Oh, this is Enough sick, man. Girl. This is definitely one of the coolest missions in the game. Jesus, that turned into a right party. Yeah. You that great weight hat got our money's worth, <laughs> Ollie. Let's just get out of here first. That was a crazy mission, guys. I liked it, though. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. That was fun. We should be out of the clear very soon. Nice, let's go, guys. Uh, we did. Quite a night. You can sure. say that. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Let's go, bro. Here we are, home sweet home. 